Well, September is Sickle Cell Disease Awareness Month, and it's estimated 100,000 people across the U.S. have sickle cell disease. Here to tell us how Corwell Health's Helen DeVos Children's Hospital walks alongside these patients during this lifelong condition is Dr. Matt Pridgen. He's the Section Chief of Pediatric Hematology and Oncology, Corwell Health, Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. That's a mouthful. Welcome. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. All right, so, so first of all, tell us what is sickle cell anemia? Yeah, as you said, it's a, it's a chronic medical condition um, that actually is an abnormality in the hemoglobin, which is uh, the red blood cells. And that abnormality leads it to be an abnormal shape uh, in the old farm instrument, the, the sickle. Uh, but as my younger patients like to say, it'll, it'll look like a banana or a, or a crescent moon. And because of that, um, those red blood cells, they don't function normally. And they're, they're brittle and they break apart and they sometimes can block up the blood flow so that it doesn't get to where it needs to be, leading to all of its medical problems. Okay. So, so how do you go about diagnosing a patient? Yeah, so um, fortunately, we're able to, to learn about this early in life now. Uh, this is a genetic disorder. So actually in the state of Michigan and, and most other states, uh, it's actually picked up on the newborn screen. Um, and then there is a confirmatory blood test uh, that we are doing usually within the first few weeks of life. Okay, wow. So you're getting that diagnosis done early, but then how does Helen DeVos Children's Hospital help support these little patients and their families? Yeah, so because we know about this early, we're able to meet them early and, and educate uh, the families and the patients um, about the disorder. Um, and then we can start treatments earlier and watch for complications earlier. So actually, um, one of the, the treatments uh, that's been the mainstay in sickle cell for a long time, hydrea, uh, we actually start very early in life, sometimes even as young as um, 9 to 12 months of age. Wow. And so then does this treatment then continue for life? I mean, is that they could continually need that kind of care? Uh, yes, that's correct. So there, there are a few different types of sickle cell disease, but those that are most impacted, uh, they usually are on that medication for life. Um, there will be other care that we'll be doing over time, uh, depending on, on what their medical problems are. Okay. So, so how can that community help support these families in their journey? Yeah, so um, great question. So one, I, I like to always come back, to, it comes down to individuals, right? So this is um, actually not that uncommon of a disorder. So sometimes it can start with just, maybe there's somebody in your neighborhood or in your school or at your workplace that you can just walk alongside them and say, hey, how can I help you as you uh, face this medical disorder? Um, other ways that you can help, um, actually, as a, another one of the therapies that is used for this occasionally is blood transfusions. Um, so a way that if you don't know somebody specifically, just um, donating blood to the local organizations is a way that you can uh, indirectly help um, these families. Um, oh, also, there. Oh, oh, keep go going. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say that the last way is, you know, sometimes there's there's a lot of other care that wraps around these families. Um, so there's there's different uh, multidisciplinary organizations that are that are helping. And so um, reaching out through the Sickle Cell Disease Association of America, sometimes they'll have things in, in the local community as far as how you can help. Um, our own Helen DeVos Children's Hospital Foundation um, has different programming that um, sometimes financially can be helpful. Uh, I love that. It's so many opportunities to help these families, and there are so many of them in our community. Um, Dr. Pridgen, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Yeah, you're very welcome. Um, you want to learn more how you can help these families. You want to learn more about sickle cell anemia, spectrumhealth.org. We'll be right back.